It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. We're just moments away from kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. Stegen in goal. Jordi Alba plays with Xavi Roberto in the fullback positions. Usman Dembele plays with Memphis out wide. And the striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Toni Kroos starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. And they kick off here. And a chance for him on the flank. PK. Now Jordi Alba. Araujo. Sergio Roberto. Now with Aubameyang. Well, you have to think, Stuart. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's natural goal-scoring presence could make the difference here. Well, Derek, what a performance it was for him last time out. Those three goals were absolutely outstanding. But it was his general performance that I admired, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him today. The ball back with Real now. the ball to the opposition that time attacking possibilities for Real Modric still could be dangerous well the goalkeeper got there in the end well his recovery is brilliant here so athletic the pie couldn't keep the ball Rodrigo now Casemiro Benzema failure to keep the ball on the part of Real he's got the right idea with that pass supporters well here it is again 
again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? This is looking threatening, but they took care of the situation defensively. Vinicius. Mendy. An alert intervention. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Can he take advantage? Alaba puts his body on the line. And danger still. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Tony Kroos and dispossessed and Barca moving the ball with purpose and now passing it through and read the danger magnificently well if he gets this wrong a penalty and a sending off but he was spot on with his challenge De Jong And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And now the delivery. Not away completely. Busquets. Well, as you can see, Real Madrid have controlled the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Real Madrid get the throw in. Vinicius Jr. David Alaba. Karim Benzema. A good and fair challenge. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Lucas Vasquez. Real Madrid couldn't maintain possession. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Araujo. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Beautifully disguised ball, and he's in. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. Sergio Roberto. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Chance here. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Dembele Ronald Araujo
Sergio Roberto. And making the run to the inside. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Sergio Roberto. Depay. And now with Aubameyang. De Jong. Fluency of movement. And Depay on the ball. De Jong. Moving the ball effective. He's in behind. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Can he open them up here? A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So continuing with the game, and the fact of the matter is, Barca are handing out a very harsh lesson. Couldn't find a teammate, throw in here. Well, as you can see, Barcelona have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas, and I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. So the corner played into the box. Well, behind for another corner. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. What a decisive punch by the keeper. Obama Yang. They've lost it. Could be a chance to break here. And he's made headway. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand De Jong well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them Dembele now Busquets and it wasn't a great pass was it
Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And he takes on the shot. No strong hand on the ball. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Fancy a short one, and it's Azar's cross, and still dangerous. Really a very poor ball. Modric, well-timed tackle. Sergio Roberto, Sergio Busquets, and it comes down to the final five minutes, and a goal kick given, Tony Kroos Hazard has it Benzema Lucas Vasquez Modric Karim Benzema Luka Modric plays it back well getting in the way superb save And over it comes. And a bit short with the clearance. Well, no damage done. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition, but my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth, and now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.